Okay, so we've cycled that ignition a number of times now. Hopefully any air in that system has kind of been purged out and then we get a nice clean start. I'm not expecting it to run uh, perfect straight up. Uh, we've had the battery disconnected. It's gonna have to relearn some parameters, um, particularly with how choked that up, choked up the intake was. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, as soon as it fires up, obviously I wanna have a good look over for leaks and any concerns. Um, and then we'll give it a little bit of a rev and see how it sounds. Hey, so that actually sounded pretty good. Um, I will start putting it back together. It's a little bit noisier without the sound insulation and the cover, and also I'm inside the garage here. So um, we'll put it all back together. I'll put the cowling back together. We'll take it for a quick drive and uh, see how it goes. Okay, with that all buttoned up in place now, um, we'll take the car for a quick drive, make sure that it's running well, that there's no leaks, no concerns, no rattles. I'll give it one final check over um, and I think she'll be good to go. Okay, just come back from the drive. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. There's obviously no leaks or problems, but in terms of improvement, um, much quicker off the mark, engine's much smoother through the whole rev range. Um, so quite happy with it. We'll give it a quick rev just to hear what it sounds like. Um, overall, look, this is a really difficult and messy job. It's difficult just because there's not much space in here. Um, and in terms of frustration, frustration levels can get really quite high. Um, taking that bulkhead off might save you some frustrations, but it's gonna take extra time as well. Perhaps maybe if I took the fuel filter and these brackets around here, you'd have a bit more space. Might try that on the next one that I do. Hey, look, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below.